What a schus. To have a share in the work of guard your eyes and to speak to people who are boletahe on the Sinai, who come to improve, to purify themselves, and and are given help Merashamayim to do so. And especially at a time like today, when we're living in a world which is no better than the Dura Mabu. Everything that happened in the Dura Mabu, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu brought that global flood, everything that's described there, we have today. And it's not an easy Nisayim to overcome these things at a time like this. And all these, all of you who are listening are Boyim letaher, habo letaher, mesayin oisai. And Shlema HaMelech said too in Mishlei, Sheva yipel tzadik v'kol. The tzadik can fall seven times, but he gets up. The stipler wrote many letters about this subject. He himself was a, a very holy man, and yet he understood the Nisoyan. The first thing he said is, when you're trying to improve, never contemplate the past. Just look forward to the future. No past. Chazanish also said something similar. We involved in Torah, Davin to the Rabboni Shalom to help, ask for help. And he said that a person who sometimes overpowers the Yetzirah because he doesn't want to do it. He wants to do what a Kurdish girl wants, but he's struggling. He's considered like in heaven like Yosef HaTzadik who resisted the wooings of his his that boss's wife, Aishas Pratif. And just like the and just like the schus, that like the sin is very great, but so too is the schus very great. And one should not expect to get out of this overnight. It's a process. But if you keep working at it, HaKadosh Baruch is going to help. Pasuk says, he, he, yoda yitreinu. Hashem knows our weaknesses. He knows our yetzahor. He knows All of our trials and tribulations. And he looks down at those people who are trying very hard to improve themselves. So you should know that Akrish Baku loves you. He knows your struggles. And he appreciates that you're working hard. You're a victim of a generation that's corrupted and decadent. And therefore, the stipler said, never give up hope. And Baruch Hashem, now we have tools that can help us, that guard your eyes is providing. So what we need to do is just to, with tremendous determination, to keep going ahead and working at it. And in the end, stipler says, he will surely be much there. In the bracha of Hashkivenu, we say, remove the satan before us and behind us. What is the satan milfanenu before us and the satan behind us? There are various explanations. But the, well, certainly the simplest is that the satan blocks us, stands in front of us and says, I'm not letting you do the good thing. Or he pushes us from behind, sometimes to do have unreasonable expectations and when we don't reach them, so we get down and we give up. That's, but there's another explanation I want to share with you. Before a person does an Avera, the Sultan comes to you and says, this, this is not an <laughs> Everyone is doing it. It's a sign of the door. It's, and you can't help it. What After, after you've done the Avera, he says, do you know what you've done? You are in Hashem's eyes. You are a piece of garbage. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't want your time. 
He doesn't want your film. He doesn't want your business. That's the Satan before the Satan after. Guilt is a Yetzirah. Regret is not a Yetzirah. Regret is a very good thing. To be sorry that you did something wrong is a very good thing. Is a very good thing. So keep davening for help from Hashem. Keep being optimistic. Never give up. And you will be the one that is helped from heaven. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.